So this robot is going to change autism learning forever. Check this out. Hey guys, welcome back to the Aspie world. My name is Dan. I have autism, ADHD, OCD and dyslexia and I make weekly videos on this type of content. So if you're new around here and you'd like to learn more about that subject, remember to hit the subscribe button by clicking the notification bell down below. And if you're watching on Facebook and Instagram, make sure to follow this account for more videos just like this. Guys, what's going on? Welcome back. Oh yeah, feeling pretty good. If you are uh, new and you haven't already downloaded my free autism life hacks PDF book, you can do it at autismhacks.net right now. Guys, I'm super excited about this video. I came across an amazing robot. Like it, I was just blown away. I was like scrolling through my Instagram feed and my friend Jacqueline was like, posted this video of this robot she got for her son, Nick. And I was like, whoa, this robot is cool because her son, Nick is on the autism spectrum. And I was like, I'm really into robots. And he's on the spectrum, I'm on the spectrum, he's got this robot, I need to find out what this robot is. Today's video is sponsored by Movia Robotics and specifically I'm talking about the Kibi robot. We're gonna get into that in a minute. My robot obsession started when I was super young. I started off with uh, building robots with my friend Mike and we used to like make those robots. You know for Robot Wars, remember those Robot Wars robots? Ours were terrible, but still, you know, we did that and then I progressed into uh, Tamagotchis, which I have like still a bunch of. I actually have more Tamagotchis than I have room for. I have all these Tamagotchis and I love them. I love Tamagotchis, but that being said, I progressed onto the Furby and then after the Furby, I really wanted to buy the AIBL robot, which was like a Sony robotic dog. And um, yeah, and then there was, a, there was a bunch of other robots I got really obsessed with, but the fact is robots are awesome and I believe they hold a lot of weight to help kids on the spectrum. Now, why robots? So robots have peer-to-peer -peer relationships and can have peer-to-peer -peer relationships with children. Robots are non-judgmental, which means that they don't have any kind of opinion on you. You know, I, I've moved on to using my Alexa unit and my Siri um, assistant on my phone and I love these pieces of equipment because I ask them questions, they don't give me any back chat and they're completely uh, non-judgmental. And the good thing about it is they're digital assistants and they just work for you, which is like exactly what you want, especially for people on the autism spectrum, right? I feel like people on the autism spectrum have uh, the ability to uh, communicate with robots and um, it's really, really good. So I, um, I feel like this is a good thing. So robots provide consistent, repetitive, repeatable performance, and robots also have simple facial features, you know, body postures and vocal interactions, they're completely the same. They're, there's nothing kind of like uh, gonna surprise you with a robot, you know exactly what you're getting with a robot. And also having a three-dimensional physical presence uh, will engage the brain more actively with robotics. And robots pretty much are infinitely patient, you know, they, they're gonna wait for you to do what you need to do. Um, there's, there's so much that a robot gives you, which is why I think I resonate towards robots and technology a lot and people on the autism spectrum do also. So what is the robot I'm talking about today? Well, today's robot I'm talking about is the Kebi robot or Kibi robot. Now this robot is from Movia Robotics. So the company have a lot of robots in schools and colleges and kind of places like that that help kids uh, on the spectrum learn from different types of uh, interaction and processes, right? So basically what happens is you can buy a robot like the, the Kebi, which is probably the, the, the more budgetable robot, and you get this like desktop robot that you put on your desk that can help your kid understand and learn different things. Now, what other things they're wanting to learn, you ask? Well, that is precisely it. The Movia team actually set up a consultation with you when you purchase the robot and the software to then actually cur curate and, and make this like custom uh, robot features for your kids. So whatever your kid is having difficulties in learning, because you know, we're all different, right? And that is something that I've never, never seen before. You know, everything is standard off the shelf, you know, out of the box, just as it is. And if you're not in that kind of category, then it's not really going to work. But with this company, they've made this robot literally just for your kid because they will make it customized to you. The robot will know exactly what you're having struggles with and help you uh, with those struggles. Now, I really think this is gonna be groundbreaking. I think this is like blowing my mind. Like this robot can just change the world and also change the way that you know kids interact uh, in learning. Now, if I was a kid again and I had a robot to help me learn, I would just excel because not only would I be interested in the technology and the actual product, I would also be learning because it's at the same 
same level as me. The robot, again, has all those reasons I just mentioned, which is just phenomenal. So in terms of that, I highly recommend that everybody checks out the Kebby robot. Now, I am going to do this myself and check one out because I'd love to just have one of these little guys here. I have a link down below to their white paper. Now, if you want to read that and you're listening on the podcast, you can just go to the aswiworld.com forward slash robot, and there'll be all the information about this little guy on there if you want to check out this robot. But anybody else watching visually, there will be a link around here somewhere. Progressing from things like Furbies and Tamagotchis to digital assistants to then to robots to help you learn stuff. I mean, this is the future. So I'll leave all the links for this robot in the description of this video and in the uh, the notes, the show notes of the podcast, or you can just go to theaspieworld.com forward slash robot and check out all of the cool stuff and email them, reach out. The company are awesome. I met with them and they're lovely people and they're really doing this to help you and your kid because they have kids on the spectrum as well, which is just like, this is heartwarming to me. So if you want to check them out, let me know in the comments down below what you think about this robot and if you're going to check them out. Okay, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.